What is up guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com. I'm super excited about today's episode. We're talking about the Renegade Row. This is one of the exercises that I think everybody should be able to do. It's super easily modified. If you have a sensitive back, if you have a disc bulge, a disc herniation, a fusion, do this exercise. I know it looks scary. There's a lot of things going on, but it's also challenging a lot of things and will give you a lot of feedback that sensitive backs need. Now, this is your first time here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't picked up the free gift already, I actually give away a free seven-day band and body weight sensitive back style workout. So if you're looking to exercise despite your low back pain, despite your fusion, despite your disc bulge, your herniation, looking for some safe exercises, this is your free download you can have right now. Go to fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash free week. So the Renegade Row is primarily a pulling exercise, obviously, but we can add another layer to that, and that is core stability, right? We're looking at stabilizing the lower back. We're looking at stabilizing the hips. We're looking at trying to maintain a neutral position when doing this exercise. So there's a lot going on. So I want to start with the easiest variation of this and then kind of go up from there. Now, if you don't know, the Renegade Row is essentially you're in this position here, you've gotten yourself into a neutral position, you're braced, your shoulder blades are backing down, and you've got some sort of weight here. It could be dumbbells, uh, depending on what you kind of have. But what you're gonna do is, from the rowing perspective, all you're doing is before you lift, you're gonna brace yourself, pelvis is in neutral, ribs are down, and you're going to row up and back here. So this is the simplest variation of the Renegade Row. And why I think this is such an awesome exercise is because one, you're working one side of the body. It's causing you to brace, it's causing you to stabilize everything, make sure everything's good, but it's also gonna give you a lot of good feedback. And the feedback that we're looking for is what's happening in the low back and how we feel when we go to lift that dumbbell up off the ground. For example, if I, were had, if I had a super sensitive low back and I would experience a lot of catching, if I were to move, if I were to lift one dumbbell up with one side of my body, I get a weird catch, I get a weird pain in my lower back. What you can do with this exercise is you can slow everything down. This is what I encourage people to do with the Renegade Row, is before you go, get a good brace, everything's nice and tight, and I, instead of like just yanking it, which you see a lot of this, in the gym, instead of doing that, get nice and tight, stabilize yourself, and pull the weight off really slow. Bring it back down really slow. And when you go to transition, it's a super slow transition. Back. And you're gonna do this back and forth. Now, what that's doing is it's giving you a chance to gain control over what's going on, gain control of the stability in the lower back. What happens often is we don't have a good this. Our trunk and core is not braced the way it should. So when we do these types of exercises that are a little bit aggressive, we don't have the stability that we need. Therefore, we have the pain that we experience or the catching or the, or the tension or tightness, whatever we're kind of dealing with. So by slowing it down, you're challenging your core, so you're training the core to be built or to build strength in that neutral position, but you're also saying, okay, look, I'm having some kind of shearing, catching pain. If I slow it down, I can focus more on the brace and then add that extra chaos, which is just the row. I can add that in, and if the pain goes away, if I'm not experiencing that catch, then A, that's awesome because now you can do this exercise. But B, it shows you that it's a stability issue. You're having a stability issue and doing this type of exercises, exercise could be good for you. Now let's do the harder version or the hardest version of this is essentially it's the same thing. I'll give you something different angle to look at here. So I'm gonna have my weight, you can go as heavy as you'd like. I'm gonna do fully extended, so I'm here. Notice how I went into one leg at a time, I get braced from here, then I go into my second leg. And from here, I'm gonna start out wide because the wider my feet are, the better of a brace or the better of a platform I'm pulling from. So from here, dumbbells are under my shoulders. I'm gonna start with my left hand here. So I'm gonna brace, get everything nice and neutral, and I'm gonna slowly pull it off and back down. Notice my hips are not doing this. I'm not doing, ugh, ugh. I'm not doing this, which you see a lot in boot camp classes and people who just, 
are losing control because they're just trying to do the exercise. Get away from that. Here, nice and slow, braced, pull. Back down, slow transition to the second one. And I have more control over my body. So I'm not experiencing any shifting. I'm not experiencing any shearing, any kind of weird as I'm torquing and twisting from lifting these dumbbells. And the strain is going from one side of the body to the other side of the body. You're building this universal stability, which is what low back pain sensitivity people need. Okay. So think about what you're doing when you're doing the renegade row, find a variation that works for you. Start on your knees, maybe go to full um, full leg extension, go easy, go light with the weight. Most importantly, go slow. That's it. Make sure you go over to fitnessbackpain.com forward slash free week and grab the free seven day back friendly workout that you can start doing immediately. That's yours. I'd love to know your experience with the Renegade Row. Is this a scary exercise for you? This is something that you've just never attempted because just there's too much going on. Well, I want to challenge that. But if it has been that experience for you, let me know in the comment section below, what is your experience doing the Renegade Row? Are you going to do this? And if you do try it, let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next episode.